return to Carpenter Haygood Stadium on the campus of Henderson State University where the captains are meeting. The record doesn't indicate it, but I'm not, I don't know if it's got anything to do with their all-season training program or just exactly what it is. I spoke with their coach just a little bit today, and and uh, he was in a hurry. He needed to get someplace, and he really didn't have time to, to uh, comment very long. But, uh, you know, that's one thing that Benton does have going for it, John, is, is their all-season program. And in Wednesday's practice, after a full uh, series of practice, our boys went into the right weight room, uh, and, and lifted weights after practice, John. That, that, there's probably not another high school team in the state that does that, and, and uh, it shows up. It showed up last week in their strength. I, I spoke with uh, Coach Alpe uh, during the week this week just to get a comment from him about uh, how he felt about Benton's football team. He said it was the strongest high school football team that he'd ever seen. So uh, that's quite a comment coming from him. And of course, he also added to that on the end of the conversation. He said, and I'm not lying. He, He'll tell you that from time to time. But uh, uh, I think that does have a lot to do with Benton's success is, is their weight program and their, and their strength that they provide because a lot of these boys out here look like, uh, you know, they look like college football players. And it, uh, uh, it, you know, it just shows up in the fourth quarter where it shows up. We're getting close to a kickoff down here. I'm ready for this thing to start where we can see what's going to happen. We're just about there. Kevin Jones will start at quarterback tonight for the Badgers. The fullback is uh, Cedric Turner. Bobby Caldwell, the tailback, and Keith Wiley is the flanker. And we'll give you Benton's starters here in a minute, but right now we're ready to get this ball game underway. The deep men for Arkadelphia to the near side is Bobby Campbell, and to the far side is Donnie Oliver. And getting set to kick off this ball game tonight, of course, is Reed Kaufman for the Benton Panthers. And there's the referee signal, and we're ready to play football tonight from Arkadelphia. Game number two for the Benton Panthers on the road. There's the kick, and it's a high one. It'll be picked up on the three-yard line, out to the five, to the 10, to the 15-yard line, coming to the near side of the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, and out of bounds goes Donnie Oliver for Arkadelphia. And on the stop for Benton was Blake Jumper, and the Badgers have real good field position on the 36-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go. John, that's something that our coaches were concerned with this week in practice with our, our kickoff and punt coverage, and uh, we... At that point in time, there they uh, they've seen something on the film that that uh, they that they can use against us, and uh, that is something we're going to have to work on. That's 33 yards on the return as Kevin Jones and company come up to the line of scrimmage with the ball on the 36-yard line. Four down linemen for the Panthers. They give it to Caldwell, sweeping wide right. Caldwell takes it to the 40-yard line and hit by two or three Benton Panthers after a gain of about three yards on the play. On the stop for Benton was Ian Perry, and so Arkadelphia picks up three. They will mark the ball down to the 40-yard line. We're at second down and seven yards to go. John, they, uh, they're, they're running a power sweep to the uh, to the right side on that play, and really, Arkadelphia did a good job, and their running back did a good job staying on his feet and gaining yardage out of it. So Kevin Jones, a junior quarterback, 6'2", 180, a good-looking kid, takes the ball, hands off again to Colwell. He's stacked up at the 40-yard line, maybe the 41. We'll wait and see where they mark it when they unpile. And again, a swarm of white jerseys with maroon numerals, Benton Panthers all over him. 
Judd Fight led the attack that time. They put him on the 41-yard line. It'll be third down and still about uh, six yards to go on the play. Adam Wright also in there for the Benton Panthers. The line to gain for Arkadelphia is the 47-yard line for the first and 10. This time, the Badgers send Scott Thomas to the near side and a couple of more wide outs, including uh, Keith Wiley to the far side, split backs behind Kevin Jones. He takes the ball, drops straight back in the pocket, has time, but the ball is way over the head of his intended receiver, Scott Thomas, on the 50-yard line with John Brewer covering on the play, and so the Benton Panthers have held and forced Arkadelphia into the punting situation. John was secondary that time, just had their receivers covered up, and uh, there wasn't any way the guy could throw the ball, and, and uh, without having an interception, and he wisely threw the ball away. I, that was a good heads-up play on, on the quarterback. Uh, par for Arkadelphia. So back to punt the ball for the Badgers is Wiley. Is he standing on about the... They're going to go for the block, John. 27-yard line. The block is on, and he got it away. Brewer makes the catch on the 23 to the 25 to 30. Brewer in traffic on the 33 and out of bounds. And John Brewer, with no uh, blockers in front of him, uh, did just about all he could do that time. Running him out of bounds for Arkadelphia was Mark Bunham. Let's set the lineups here quickly for Benton. The tight end is Michael Grant. Uh, Grant, a 6'1", 195-pounder. The other side uh, should be tentatively Brent Black or either Rick Daniel, depending on what they come out in. Rivers and Woods are the tackles. Reed Coughlin and Michael Moore, the guards, and Bo Chaney, the center. Brad Collins will open at quarterback tonight. The Panthers coming out in the wishbone to start, so look at Judd Fight at uh, fullback. Brewer and uh, Daniel are the halfbacks in this formation. The ball goes uh, off, off the uh, middle to uh, Terry Berry, who's opening at fullback tonight. Pardon me, and Berry takes it for about a yard. Not much there. Second down and nine as he takes the ball to the 34-yard line. And the Badgers uh, on the stop was Michael Curry. So it's a gain of one. Second down and nine as the ball's on the 34-yard line. Let's set the lineup again. Collett at uh, quarterback, and then we have Barry at fullback. Brewer on one side. And they give the ball to Brewer, and John Brewer takes it all the way to the 38-yard line, just straight up the middle. Kind of a blast play, hit for the middle of the Arkadelphia line. Michael Curry on the initial tackle. John Arkadelphia's coming out and playing real tough on this first series of downs here. They, uh, they're, what they're doing is they're playing their defensive linemen just at a, a stationary position. They're, they're, they're letting them read at the line of scrimmage, and uh, really that's the only way you can play the wishbone uh, defense. Otherwise, you'll overrun it every time. Lining up on the wishbone, Brad Collett, the quarterback, now looking at third down and four. Collett play action fake, rolls to the far side on the 30, in some trouble, fires the pass, and it's going to be incomplete and almost intercepted. On the 45-yard line, the pass was intended thrown in the vicinity of Rick Daniel, and covering on the play for Arkadelphia was Frederick Owens, and Benton now will have to punt the ball. John, that's a fine play on defense by the uh, Badgers. They just they put a real good rush on Collett. He's uh, trying to throw the ball out of the wishbone. He's got to make two or three fakes in there, and we got Brian Holder coming in now to uh, punt the ball for Benton. And, they need to keep in mind, Brian Holter's got some real problems, John, so he may be a little off tonight of his regular ball game. Fourth down and four, Holter standing on the 25-yard line to punt the ball. And there's the boot, and Holter rides a nice one up that uh, Thomas will take on the 30, dancing around on the 33-yard line, and finally just nailed right to the turf, and uh, on the tackle for uh, Benton was Dean Bird down the field very quickly, and so Arkadelphia takes over uh, on the 32-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go. Nine minutes and one second left to play in the first quarter of the ball game. And if you've just joined us, there's no score from Carpenter Haygood Stadium in Arkadelphia. Still more people coming in. There is, John. It's, uh, uh, I want to say one thing. Holger averaged 40 yards a punt last week on his punting. And uh, we'll figure up here in just a minute and give him what that was on the last punt. And here is the ball being thrown complete to Keith Whitley on the 42-yard line. As Kevin Jones, real quick pass out there. And uh, Danny, or rather, uh, Darren Adams covering on the play. Also Gary Tidball. And so it will be, let me see here. Well, we have a flag on the play, it looks like. Well, it's going to go against Smith, it looks like. And a penalty being assessed against the Panthers, which will move it up to the 41-yard line where it'll be second down now, and I still did not see the referee signal second down and two yards to go. 
But nonetheless, the Badgers uh, up to the line of scrimmage. One setback behind quarterback Kevin Jones. Smith with a five-man front. Jones takes the ball, hands off. The ball goes up to the 23-yard line in the hands of Cedric Turner, the fullback, and uh, on the tackle, Allen Bearden for the Benton Panthers. And so they are awfully close to a first and 10, but I don't think they made it. They're not going to call for a measurement. The ball on the 42 and a half yard line. And now we get the timeout. And now we get the referee signaling for the chain gang to come out in our first measurement here in the ballgame. John, that Allen Bearden plays defensive end for the Panthers. And, and he, he weighs about 135, 145 pounds. I think they list him at 185 just for to try to psych somebody out. But he's probably one of the best defensive ends in the conference. Uh, he's played it all the way up through junior high and into senior high. Did an excellent job that time. He come across, he played containment, and uh, in the end playing containment, you make the uh, offensive back turn back upfield, and Bearden was still able to make the tackle along with the assistance of some of the other players. But uh, when, when you play containment like he did on that defensive play there, your offside tackles and, and uh, your nose man are going to be able to come down the line of scrimmage and make the tackle. That was good defense on Bitten's part there. Jeffrey Smith is flanked to the near side. Again, split backs behind your quarterback, Kevin Jones. Jones will take the ball, hand off the turn to the 45. Midfield, Turner into Bitten territory in the 48-yard line. And it's going to be a couple of yard shy of a first and 10. Dean Bird covering on the play, along with uh, John Brewer on the stop. And so, Arkadelphia now, again, a short-guarded situation, second down and one. But the uh, ball spotted on the Benton 48-yard line. So Arkadelphia visits Panther territory for the first time this evening. They will uh, line Scott Thomas up to the near side again. Split backs behind Jones. He takes the ball, hands off to Turner. He's got the first and 10, down to the 45, down to the 48. Bumble the ball on the 42-yard line, I should say. And we have, uh, but I think it was already blown dead. At any rate, Arkadelphia got it back as Dean Bird was there to bring him down. John, uh, uh, Matt Bowen, our right defensive tackle, is penetrating the line of scrimmage three to four yards on every play. Uh, what they're doing is they're able to run behind Matt Bowen and uh, and uh, and get outside the play, and, and then they're blocking real good on our defensive ends, and, and Arkadelphia is being successful thus far on offense. They look real good. Here's Thomas, split to the near side now as Kevin Jones looks at the five-man front for the Benton Panthers, split backs behind him. And two more wide outs to the far side. They give it to Turner as C.J. Turner takes the ball down to the 40-yard line and betting on him at that point on the uh, tackle for the Benton Panthers. Is yeah, Adam Wright at that time, John? It came up uh, from behind. All right. You know, John, what happened on that play is, is and really uh, Matt Bowen's a heads-up football player for doing this. He, he saw that he wasn't being blocked, so he just read the play and waited on a pulling guard, and he was able to cause the interference and let the offside people make the tackle. Collins and Wiley split to the wide side of the field. Again, they hand off the Turner. He's on the 35, the 30, the 25-yard line, and a first and 10 for Arkadelphia as Cedric Turner just turned it on and uh, found daylight, and finally Dean Bird was there to bring him down, but Arkadelphia right now running right over the Benton Panthers' uh, defense on the 26-yard line, 15 yards on the carry. John have had uh, Holder out of the ball game for the last couple of plays, and Brian is in quite a bit of pain. He's, he's very uncomfortable with that rib injury, and uh, they've had Brent Black in, who's an ample football player. He just doesn't have the... Split. ...runs the ball on the 27-yard line. And that's all. Came down for the Benton Panthers. I'll tell you something I'm seeing out there, John, is uh, Arkadelphia is playing at a 10 on the Richter scale. They, uh, their line is firing off the ball and doing real good at, at contacting our defensive linemen. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take a little spunk out of them and cause a turnover or something of that nature in order to get Arkadelphia's spirits down a little bit. They're playing on a real high level right now at this time. Ball on the Benton 25 as Jones takes the ball, hands off to Bobby Caldwell. Caldwell tripped up on the 24, and there's a flag on the play. Getting in for the Benton Panthers looks like Steve Wood, and the illegal procedure will be the call against the Arkadelphia Badgers, so Benton may be hoping that'll slow down some of Arkadelphia's momentum. Johnny, uh, they felt like they needed to get a little more weight in there on that uh, right defensive side and Arkadelphia's left side. Even though Matt Bowen, I want to give him all the credit in the world, is has really been doing a fine job down there that due to his uh, 
is lightness. Uh, they have been blowing him out of, out of the hole. He's still doing a good job, but they wanted to get somebody in there that could fill that hole just a little bit better, and that's why they brought Steve Wood in. This time, Wiley is put to the wide side of the field. Again, we have split backs behind Kevin Jones. Thomas looks to the near side. Jones wants the throw, and it's over the head of his intended receiver, Keith Wiley, down on the 22-yard line as uh, Rick Daniel covers on the play for the Veteran Panthers. And so that brings up third down, and I forgot to tell you, it's third down and 14 yards to go after the illegal procedure penalty. Push the ball back to the 30 effect. John, that time they uh, really bit and got close to the Arkansas quarterback on that play, and, and, and our defense is going to settle into this ball game. We're, they're not beating us badly on the line of scrimmage. Right now they're finessing us just a little bit, and uh, uh, we're, we'll settle into this and uh, get, our, get our defense going the way it should be. Down to six minutes to play in the first quarter as Turner, or rather Jones, backpedals all the way to the 45-yard line. He's in trouble. He's down to the 41-yard line of the Benton Panthers as Rick Daniel came in there to bring him down. John Rush Browning broke, in, broke through also on a uh, linebacker blitz that time, and he, he was able to, to uh, get the quarterback out of the pocket and for a 16-yard loss and just a, a great defensive play by Benton that took him out of basic field goal range and looks like they're going to have to punt the ball to us now. I'll give Russ Browning some, some real good credit there for crashing through and making that play happen. Fourth down now, 24 yards to go as Arkadelphia's Donnie Oliver is going to try to punt the ball deep. Benton's rush is on. Oliver gets a nice high spiral that he'll hit. Oh, Brewer will take it on the five-yard line. Coming to the wide side. He's on the 10. He's down. I mean, they really nailed John Brewer back on the eight-yard line. Just shoved him straight back. Who got in there and did that? On the stop for Arkadelphia with Keith Perkins. And Perkins, uh, not uh, a little uh, guy himself, he's a senior 5'11 and weighs 205, and Arkadelphia does have a lot of beef up on that line. They do have, John. That was a beautiful punt by the Arkadelphia punter that time, too. A lot of people would ask why would Brewer feel that punt. He had no blocking down here to help him whatsoever, and if he had let the ball roll, there's a good chance it could have bounced, and they could have downed it on the one or two yard line. Ball on the nine-yard line as the Panthers in the wishbone again with Brad Collett as they start their second offensive possession of the evening. There's the give off the uh, right side, carrying up to about the 14-yard line with the ball with Brent Black, who's checked in now. And on the stop for Arkadelphia was uh, Gordon, also in there, Keith Nelson for the Badgers. Four minutes, 38 seconds to play in the first quarter. Benton looking at second down and six yards to go after Black carries for uh, about four yards on the play. Coach Fight's pretty well designated Black and uh, and Tommy Burton as his power backs. And you'll see him in that uh, wishbone uh, offense a lot tonight. Right now, Burton is in the lineup, and he carries the ball this time. But he finds the going tough as he gets it up to about the 14-yard line. And then Arkadelphia's Frederick Owens comes in to bring him down. Also in there for uh, Arkadelphia was uh, the big boy again. I think Perkins uh, got a piece of him. So now Benton looking at third down and still about four yards to go. They need to get up to the 19-yard line for the first and 10. They have it on the 15 right now, 3.53 to go. It'll be Daniel flicked to the near side. Benton with the ball in the middle of the field on the 15-yard line. Brad Collett calling signals, takes the ball, play action fake, wants to throw, fires one, and it's over the head of Daniels, who's double covered on the play. And not much there at all. Covering was Greer for Arkadelphia. Also, Jordan was in the vicinity. And Benton again, Mike, has been forced to punt the ball. John, uh, Arkadelphia is doing a great job on defense. Uh, they, they have scouted us very well. I saw them last week. At the, I saw the Arkadelphia coaches last week at the Malvern ball game. And, and uh, whatever notes they took, they took them pretty good and have used them pretty well tonight. So uh, Arkadelphia is a, a very good opponent at this point in time in the ball game. Holder standing on the two-yard line gets a nice snap from center, rides the punt high, and a beauty underway. Driving Caldwell back, it hits on the 40, takes a bit and bounce on the 30, the 25. Caldwell picks it up on the 20, coming to the near side, and it hit nailed hard on the 23-yard line. And getting downfield quickly was John Graves to bring him down. And Graves, he wanted to not only tackle him, but looked like he wanted to drive him right into the turf here. Well, I think it's time that we uh, pronounced ourselves as being at the stadium, and that was a good way to do it. Uh, I tell you, John Graves, uh, this year, John, uh, on the, for the folks that's listening to our broadcast, has probably become a household name. Uh, John's doing about everything that uh, they ask him to do. And this is something that Benton's worked on this week is our punt coverage because last week we had one returned against us, but it 
came back due to a penalty, but they've worked hard on that this week to try to correct it. And give Brian over credit, uh, Mike, for a 62-yard punt. Beautiful punt. All right, we go back to Turner as he takes the ball from quarterback Kevin Jones across the 25, and he's up to about the 28-yard line as Russ Browning was there to Dickey. Pick up a four on the play, second down and six yards to go. John, I might mention that Brian Holter was the leading tackler last week for the Panthers. He ended up with 16 tackles, four unassisted, and 12 assisted. Holter in the lineup and also got in on that last tackle. Second and six, the line to gain is the 34-yard line. Jones, the quarterback for Arkadelphia, takes the ball, hands off to Cedric Turner. Turner finding the going tough as he gets the ball up to the 27-yard line, and then the Benton Panthers just swarm on him. Panthers doing a little more gang tackling now that uh, looks real good. Brian Holter leading the charge along with Matt Bowen. Matt Bowen's that right defensive tackle I mentioned, John. That, that when he came off the field a while ago, the coach, they didn't get on to him. They understand he's, he's outweighed by some number, but they just told him to settle down and play his game and, and make good use of his quickness, and uh, he's, he's doing a good job. He's, he's going to be a great tackle for the Panthers this year. Ball on the near side, hash marks as Kevin Jones. Mark signals for the Badgers, takes the ball, fires it in the air, looking for his uh, Keith Wiley, the uh, flanker, but overthrows him on the 45-yard line as Gary Tidball was there to cover. And so the Panther defense has uh, gotten tough, and they've stopped Arkadelphia. Now fourth down coming up, and still six yards to go with the ball on the 27 of the Badgers. We're settling into our game a little better, John, and... and uh, Arkadelphia, I think, realizes realistically that in order to play real tough against our defense, they're going to have to pass the ball. So here we go now as Bobby Campbell will step back to about the 14-yard line to punt the ball. I checked that. That's not Campbell. That's Wiley, and he rides a nice punt that will hit on the Panther 46-yard line, will roll around and will be down in that same vicinity on the 46-yard line, getting downfield to down it was Johnny Smith. For the Badgers, and so the Panthers now, though Mike have some uh, a little bit of running room, their best field position of the night here for their uh, this their third possession, the ball on the 46-yard line. John, it wouldn't surprise me at all right now in this particular field position to see them go for Rick Daniel on a uh, on a uh, long pass uh, to either. Well, he's lining up to the left side in the wing this time, so let's wait and see what happens. I, I told you I was going to quit analyzing the wide five. <laughs> Ball on the near side, far side hash marks. Here's Brewer. He's on the 45 midfield. John Brewer carries all the way down to the Badger 46-yard line. He's close to a first and 10. Frederick Olin there to bring him down for the Badgers of Arkadelphia. As uh, Benton now visits uh, Badger territory for the first time in the ball game. Also in there was uh, Damon uh, Hart for Arkadelphia. Second down and two now for the Benton Panthers. The ball on the Badger 46-yard line. Benton has uh, not had a first down thus far in the ball game. Arkadelphia has had three as we're down to 58 seconds to play in the first quarter. Benton moving from left to right now. Ball on the far side hash marks. One setback. There's the give to Ian Perry. Ian Perry can't go anywhere as he's decked on the 48-yard line for a loss by Mark Burnham, who got through there to bring him down. And so the quarter down to 41 seconds, and Benton looking at third down and four yards to go. John, the key to that play was uh, Rick Daniels making his block out and split in. And uh, really the way it looked, because I know Rick Daniels is a better football player than this, I'm not sure Rick didn't have a little misunderstanding of what the play was because he got off his block too soon and his man made the tackle. So uh, there might have been a little miscue there in that play. One setback behind Brad Collett. He takes the ball straight ahead. Barry, Barry on the 45. Barry down to the 42-yard line. Maybe the 43-yard line, I'm sorry. As uh, Barksdale on the stop. And it's going to be close enough for a measurement. Down to five seconds to play in the first quarter. And Benton trying to pick up their first first and 10 of the ball game. John Coach Five's going to alternate Terry Berry and Judd Five out there at fullback. They're almost identical in size and speed and strength, so either one of those young men can do the job. And, and uh, Terry being a senior, he's going to give him a good opportunity to play. And I know Terry Berry, he's a fine young man. It'll, it'll thrill him tremendously if he gets his first down. It looks like they're just a little bit short. And uh, Brad Collett's looking over right now to get a little instruction as to what they're going to do. And uh, they're bringing Darren Adams in at, at a split end, but... Uh, I'm not real sure. Excuse me, Judd fired in the fullback, so looks like they're going to go for it, John, on fourth down. 
Fourth down, just inches. The ball on the Arkadelphia 43 and a half yard line, and we're just that close. We're down to two seconds. The clock's going to run out. That's the end of the first quarter as Arkadelphia and Benton are all tied at nothing, nothing. We'll be back to Haygood Carpenter Stadium in half a minute. Yeah. Well, welcome back to Arkadelphia, the uh, campus of Henderson State University, where we are watching the Benton Arkadelphia Badger battle out there. It's fourth down. Benton just inches away from a first and ten. Now they'll reverse and go from left to right. Benton will be driving to the north. We have a fresh 12 up on the clock. John, it's a beautiful stadium, isn't it? I, uh, you enjoy coming down here just watching or uh, looking at the stadium. It's uh, it's been it's well taken care of, and uh, it's something these kids enjoy coming down here and playing in. Well, Brad Collett has a big play here now, fourth down and just inches. Here's the snap, there's the give straight ahead to Judd Fight. He's got the first and 10 barrels his way down to the 40 yard line. And I mean, he hit the line running and on the tackle was Owens for Arkadelphia. So Benton with a first and 10 as they'll put his knees down though on the 43 yard line. So it will be first down and 10 yards to go at that point. Wasn't a pretty run, but it was effective. And uh, Judd looked like a cannonball had been shot out of a cannon when he came out of his stance. Uh, I, probably everybody on the defense knew exactly what they were going to do, and that's hand off to the first man through. But uh, not pretty, but effective. Collett and company up to the line of scrimmage. Daniel and Brewer at the wings. I believe they're going to measure it, John. They're going to measure again. Is that close? I thought Mitten had it with uh, no problem, but they bring the chains out. They'll stretch them out, and the Panthers have the first and ten by a football link. I actually thought he went further than what he did, but uh, well, they, he's apparently touched down on the 43-yard line, and so they brought it out to measure. You know, we we haven't uh, in the past years been real, uh, I guess, uh, receptive of good spots, but that was good enough anyway. So here we go as. Daniel and Brewer on the wings. Daniel to the near side, Brewer to the far side. Daniel in motion. They give it to Daniel. He fakes a reverse that he's going to run into some trouble and can't go anywhere. Shut back on the 46 yard line, back to the 47 yard line. As Arkadelphia's uh, Keith Jones got in there to bring him down. Well, that play did not fool the Badgers uh, one little bit. Also in there was Keith Nelson uh, for the uh, Arkadelphia Badgers. And so uh, now second down and 13 yards to go for the Panthers as they have the ball back on the Arkadelphia 46 and a half yard line. John, that play is designed for the offensive tackle to take his man out and then the back cut in behind his block. But that time Rick didn't read it that way and uh, he, Rick just ran right into the play. No score in the ball game. Brad Collett sends Perry in motion to the far side, takes the ball, drops back in the pocket, fires the pass, it's almost intercepted on the 35 yard line. Pass was uh, intended for, I believe, Grant and uh, Bump, uh, Mark, uh, that's a hard name there, Bunham, Bumham was uh, there to cover. Third down, 13 yards to go. Sound like he might be related to me. <laughs> <laughs> the ball on the 47 yard line. I'd look twice. Uh, I better not be calling one of these Arkadelphia players a bum. <laughs> I get thrown out of here. Brad Collett up to the line of scrimmage. Ball in the middle of the field. Third and 13 now. As Perry goes in motion, Collett fades, drops, fires the pass. Perry open. He's got it on the 30-yard line. Down to the 28-yard line for a betting first and 10 as Anthony Hicks is there to bring him down. Also covering on the play was Hart for Arkadelphia. It's a first and 10 for the betting fans. John Brad Collett looked off two different receivers that time before he turned and threw. Uh, to the receiver down the sideline. He did a great job of standing back in that pocket and, and watching two other receivers and, and uh, not letting the defense key in on his man going down the sideline. A beautiful play of Brad Collett, just uh, a, a great quarterbacking all the way. Ball now on the far side, hash marks. As Brad Collett takes the ball, hands off Rick Daniel. He hits the line to the 25. Daniel carries down to the 21 yard line. And a nice run there by Rick Daniel as uh, on the stop for Arkadelphia was Curry. 
And so with 10.36 to play in the first half, Benton with the ball on the 21 and has a successful drive going against the Badgers, second and three coming up. Don Reed Kaufman made that play work right there. He pulled out of his left guard position and absolutely blowed their defensive end out of the stadium. And, and uh, Rick cut behind his block and made a good gain out of it. Again, Benton in the Wayne T. Daniel in motion to the far side. This though, they hand the ball off to Brewer. He's down to the 20, down to the 15-yard line. Brewer all the way down to the 11-yard line. And Anthony Bailey picks him up there for Arkadelphia. First and 10, the Benton Panthers, as they are uh, getting very close to the goal line. The ball spotted. They'll move it on the 12-yard line where they mark it down. And the Panthers are within striking distance uh, pretty easily now. John Michael Moore did the same thing that time to the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. He pulled out and blew out the uh, defensive end, and, and Brewer went behind his block, did a great job. Dean Bird is in. Rick Daniel is out. Bird moves into the wing on the near side. Brewer in motion. They give the ball to Brewer. He's on the 10. He's down to the 5, down to the 4, still on his feet on the 3-yard line. It's John Brewer just would not be denied, and Jeffrey Smith was there to bring him down. It's now the Panthers are knocking on the door. Greer was also in there for Arkadelphia. 9.36 to play as Benton's getting closer, and we have a Panther on the ground, and that's John Brewer. John Brewer, John, I can't tell just exactly where he's hurt at it. Uh, you can tell by the trainers here in just a minute if it might be a, uh, uh, a cramp. Or, well, I believe they're working on his right ankle just a little bit, John, so that's, that's not good news. We've got a stable of running backs, but I tell you, John Brewer gives us more than just a running back. He, he's a good receiver also. We'll, uh, we'll hope that he's not injured very badly on the, job, on the uh, play there. Well, there's a break in the action here. No score in the ball game. The Panthers are knocking on the door. They're on the three-yard line, and we'll be back with more Benton Panther football in half a minute. Tackle. Well, back at Carpenter Haygood Stadium where they are attending to John Brewer who's down on the field right now and we certainly hope John is uh, not seriously injured. We uh, remind all of you here that uh, the Benton Panthers will be back home. Is that right? Next uh, Friday night against uh, Sheridan in uh, a ball game that last year folks was uh, some kind of a tough struggle. I'll tell you. Uh, those old boys down there, John, uh, they, they fish and hunt all night and go to school all day the next day. They, they're tough kids. They know exactly how to play football, too. Last year, Benton just barely eased out on a score of 9-7 to seven on a Heath Nicks field goal late in the ball game. And uh, believe me, I was uh, beginning to wonder if we had that ball game won or not. It, it was a, a great victory for the Panthers, but Sheridan is going to always play Benton tough just like everybody else does. They're, they're assisting John Brewer off the field and it looks like a right ankle may be bothering him. And uh, I, I tell you now, they'll evaluate that real close before they bring him into the, back into the ball game. Uh, if it's not a uh, serious injury, of course, John wants to play, but they'll look at it in several different ways. Uh, they'll look at it on whether he can, they can keep him out of the ball game and give him time to heal and, and allow him to, uh, you know, to get ready into the conference race. Or uh, we, we just don't know at this point in time how serious the injury is. And I have a seen Dr. Stewart here tonight. I don't know whether he's on the premises or not, but if he is, you can rest assured that he'll be down there looking after him and, and making sure that he's okay. Well, I tell you, I hate to see uh, anybody get injured, but you sure hate to see someone with the, uh, with the talent of John Brewer uh, go down, and uh, we certainly hope he gets back in the ball game. Benton can uh, get a first down if they can, uh, let's see, they need to get down to about the two-yard line, the one-yard line to pick up a first and ten. As they have the ball now on the three, they bring it up to the line of scrimmage with nine minutes and 36 seconds to go in the first uh, half of the ball game. One set back, Daniel now moves over on the left wing. He goes in motion to the far side. Straight ahead goes the ball to Judd Fight as he is down to the one-yard line and should have enough for the first and ten. Owens on the stop for Arkadelphia. Let's pause five seconds at this point for station identification.
Ben. 27 to go. Go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Benton's going to play it conservative down here, John. They, uh, they at this point in time, feel like they need to <laughs> need to score. They, it would be a devastating thing for them right now to be down this close and and having fought fought through the first quarter like they did and not score. So I don't believe they'll get fancy down down here. They'll just play a good close football. First and goal. The ball goes up the middle and Benton in for the touchdown as Judd fight, I believe, and I took my eye off the ball for a second, carries into the uh, end zone for the touchdown, and Benton leads six to nothing as Michael Curry tried to keep him out of the end zone, but nothing doing. Fight wanted to get in and get the first six points, and he does as Benton scores with 9.03 to go in the first half. Uh, it was extremely uh, important that Benton get this touchdown, John. They uh, uh, went through a tough first quarter here. They couldn't get their offense or defense working just exactly like they wanted it to, and Got John Graves in now attempting the extra points for Benton. He was uh, uh, successful last week on a 47-yard field goal. It looks like this kick's going to be up, and uh, the referee's going to call it good. But uh, uh, Benton, after they got down there, did exactly what they thought, what I thought they would. They just went conservative to the fullback up the middle and kept ball control. We're going to pause for a 30-second commercial, and we'll be back at uh, Hey Good Carpenter Stadium in just 30 seconds. Well, the Benton Panthers move 53 yards in 11 plays to take a 7-0 lead here. Got four first downs on the way, and when they finally decided to kick it in gear, Mike, they didn't waste any time. Well, they uh, they had a little pep talk over on the sideline, John, and uh, I tell you, Coach Fight can, uh, he, he can praise you, and he can also get you fired up at the same time. So I, I'm sure when he got his offensive line over on the uh, sideline there, him and Coach Mark Jones and uh, Coach Roseberry got him over and said, boys, here's what you got to do, and and them being the uh, seasoned guys that they are, they came out and did it, and uh, and did it in very good style. So uh, Benton really got in their ball game on that drive, and and uh, they should come on now. And, and uh, they, you know, they're comfortable with everything, so they should come on. We're waiting now, Reed Kaufman, to kick off for the Panthers. Campbell and Oliver are the deep men. As Oliver to the near side, Campbell to the far side, and Reed Kaufman gets his bow into the ball, and it will hit on the. 20-yard line going to be picked up by Campbell. Campbell scrambles up to about the 24-yard line, and that's all. So Bobby Campbell gives uh, his ball club uh, possession of the uh, pigskin on the 24-yard line as uh, Kaufman, the kicker, was downfield to cover on the play. And Kevin Jones and company for Arkadelphia come back down on the field, and the Badgers uh, hoping to get something going against the Panthers, but the Panther defense has done the job tonight against them thus far in the ball game. They will go with Chris Wiley split to the near side of the field along with Chris Collins. As Kevin Jones looks at the Benton Panther five-man front, takes the ball, and they go up the middle with it to Turner as Turner's hit at the 25-yard line, falls forward to the 26. Alan Bearden on the stop for the Benton Panthers. Gain of a couple, second down and eight yards to go coming up for Arkadelphia. John, that's Arkadelphia's spread offense, and, and uh it's like Arkansas ran almost when Lou Holtz was at Arkansas. And they can do so many things off of it, and, and they freeze the linebackers with that offense. Uh, by Every time they pass the ball, they'll play fake at the line of scrimmage, and that gives the receivers just a little step advantage downfield. Ellis Collins and Wiley flank to the near side, split backs behind Jones, takes the ball and hands off, and nothing doing for Turner. And uh, nothing much there as he is down to the 25-yard line. Van Cleve uh, on the stop for the Benton Panthers. And so third down and eight for Arkadelphia. They have the ball on the 25-yard line. John, once again, Alan Bearden did exactly what he's supposed to do. He came across the line of scrimmage at defensive end and contained, and it, and it caused Matt Bourne, a right uh, defensive tackle, and a nose man uh, all to come and make the tackle from behind. Ball on the near side, hash marks as Jones Bart signals with two split backs behind him. This time he rolls to the far side. He's going to be caught, though, for a loss back on the 16-yard line 
as the Benton Panthers uh, got through there on the tackle was uh, Matt Bowen for the Benton Panthers to get through there and bring him down. So that's a loss, and that brings up now fourth down and 16 yards to go. I'm sorry, not 16. Well, let me look at it again. Yeah, that's about 16, 17 yards for Arkadelphia. John, Matt Bowen did a great job. He, he is so quick, and they're going to go for the block again, John. Back to uh, punt the ball is Donnie Oliver standing on the five-yard line, and let's see if he's going to be intimidated. They got a piece of it. It will bounce straight up in the air. One of the Panthers will down it on the 15, 14-yard line as uh, coming up with the ball for the Benton Panthers, I believe, was Alan Bearden. John, they, uh, they, they have worked on it. Arkadelphia last week against El Dorado snapped two uh, snaps over the uh, punter's head, and Coach Fyatt said tonight, see, there's about three things that can happen when you line up in this punt block situation. And uh, one of them being the center gets uh, flustered and snaps the ball over the punter's head, or the, or the punter gets excited and uh, not get his steps down right, or we block it. And we block it that time, and we're in a great field position here on the 15 yard line to go in for another score before the half. Adam Wright blocked it for the Benton Panthers. Here's Collett handing off and hit right in the backfield, the Benton running back on the 15 yard line. And let's see here, Frederick Owens on the tackle. John, the uh, Tommy Burton in, they handed off to him, and Tommy showed last week that he can run the football with anybody, but it all goes back to our offensive line. If we don't get our blocks and get them down exactly right, the backs can't do anything, and we just uh, missed our assignment at the line of scrimmage that time, and I, I'm going to pat them on the back when they do good, but, we, you know, when they when they miss a block or an assignment like that, and it's going to happen in any football game, but that's, that's what happened there. They just missed an assignment. So John Graves brings in a play from the bench. Here's Collett down the line. He's on the 15, the 10. Collett down to the five-yard line inside the five for a first and 10 for the Benton Panthers as Benton once again is knocking on the door. Hicks on the tackle for Arkadelphia, also Owens. And with 5.48 to play, the Panthers look like they may be ready to go again. 11 yards on the scamper by Brad Collett. Brad Collett last week was our leading rusher, John. He had four rushes, 49 yards, and a 12-yard average. And... Uh, that Brad Collard is an ample ball carrier. He can, he can run with football. Al Benton goes back to the wishbone with the ball on the far side hash marks. Collard takes the ball. He'll keep it down the line. Looks for somebody to throw to, and he will have to keep it. Still won't go down. Carries to the four, maybe the three-and-a-half yard line. And uh, Hart on the stop for the Arkadelphia Panthers along with Gordon. And so Benton say it down. Let's see, second down and still goal. The ball on the three-yard line. Talked to Brad this week, John, uh, Thursday, as a matter of fact, in the in the uh, office at the high school, and, and Brad got a call this week from one of the coaches at the University of Arkansas congratulating him on a good ball game last week, and they've got a lot of interest in him. I'd uh, I'd love to see us get a quarterback uh, out of Benton that went to the university and, and uh, made good as a quarterback. You know, we've had Jerry Moore and a few of them go up, but they end up someplace else. But Brad Collett's got all the tools to be a, a big league college quarterback. He, he's smart on the football field, too, and that's very important when you get into the college level. Boy, you better believe it. That's true. Here come the Benton Panthers now looking at second and goal from the three-yard line in the wishbone. There's the give to Burton again. Burton down to about the two, maybe the one-and-a-half-yard line as Hart was there to deck him one more time for the Arkadelphia Badgers. And the Panthers find the uh, going getting a little tough down there in that, in that uh, three-down range. Uh, third down now in goal. The ball is on the two-yard line. John, this is the toughest part of the field. When you get down here, everybody knows where you're trying to get, and uh, they just dig in just a little bit harder. And, uh, there's no way to get down here and, and uh, do just exactly uh, what you want to do because the plays don't work the same way on this end of the field as they do out in the midfield. This time, Collett keeps. Collett scores for the Benton Panthers as Collett puts the six six more points on the board. Hicks trying to keep him out of the end zone, but nothing doing. As Brad Collett play action fake, perfect wishbone play into the end zone for the touchdown. Benton leading 13 zip now. Brad Collett just read it exactly the way your uh, uh, wishbone quarterback's supposed to read it and kept the ball, went in for the touchdown. He, he, he visualized on that corner flag and he kept his eye on it and he was going to get there. So. That was a great run by Brad Collett. In fact, it was a, it was a well-executed drive by the Panthers all the way through, and, and Brad Collett being the uh, leader. And, and John Graves, once again, is successful uh, with another point-after attempt, and uh, John's doing a great job. Those, those point-afters come in real, real uh, handy at the end of a ball game when, you, when you've got an opponent like Arkadette. 
Uh, we've, we've got uh, Benton up now 14 to nothing with 421 in the second quarter. We're going to pause for a timeout. This is the Benton Panther Football Network. Test one two, check one two. What do you listen to on there? I just listen to the crowd noise. Just checking the crowd noise level. Well, we're back here at uh, Carpenter Haygood Field on uh, the campus of Henderson State University. We're betting leading 14 to nothing over Arkadelphia. And we have Oliver and Campbell back deep here for the Arkadelphia Badgers. And the uh, ball will be uh, picked up by, sorry about that, a new face in here, Davis on the 10-yard line. He falls down right on the 9-yard line. And one of the Benton Panthers downfield quickly to make sure he didn't go. That's Darren Adams. Make sure he didn't get uh, back up and run the ball, but he was already down. And he just looked like his feet just went out from under him. Well, he, uh, I think he was thinking this was pro football, you know, that he could get up and run there. <laughs> Sometimes the referees miss those things too, John. So it's, uh, it, it's important if that whistle's not blown to go ahead and, and uh, take a lick on it. Looked like he uh, may have seen uh, Darren Adams bearing down <laughs> on him. Decided he better slide into third there. Panthers went 15 yards and four plays to score on their last possession as the ball will go off to the fullback for Arkadelphia. That is, uh, or the tailback, I should say, Bobby Caldwell. Caldwell, though, gets it to about the 10, not much there. John, uh, Brian Holter that time shot through the gap. He looked like one of those F-15 fighter planes. That he just fired through and, and just barely missed the uh, ball carrier, ran right in front of him. And uh, if they'll check out there, they're going to probably need to make a repair on the field because he beat a hole in the ground where he was uh, mad at himself for not making that tackle. Benton thus far in the ball game has uh, 85 yards in total offense. Arkadelphia has uh, 36 yards of total offense. And back to pass goes the quarterback. Nothing doing as he angled it out there in the vicinity of Bobby Caldwell. Kevin Jones had a lot of pressure put on him. And a gutsy call there by the Arkadelphia coaching staff as uh, Dean Bird was really uh, was uh, covering on the play. John Adam Wright broke through then, the nose man that replaced our uh, uh, I call him world famous Greg Mundy because he was a tremendous football player. And, and Adam Wright this year thus far, he was the second leading tackler last week uh, against Malvern and just did an outstanding job. And uh, I believe Adam Wright settled into that position real well. Right now, Scott Thomas is split to the near side of the field as Kevin Jones drops back into the end zone, swings a pass out. It's uh, complete to Turner as he's hit on the five, comes back up to about the eight-yard line, and that's all. James Harville covering on the play for the Benton Panthers. That was good heads-up football player play again by Adam Wright. He, uh, Adam read that it was a screen play, and, and he pulled up off his rush and went out and made the tackle on the... Uh, uh, back out of the backfield that caught the pass. So it was a great play defensively, and we're going for the block again, John. Arkadelphia's Jones is two out of six in the air thus far in the ball game, only five yards net after that. Again, another attempt at a block, and the punt is away by Keith Wiley. Picked up by the Panthers on the 35, and down goes John Brewer, who's back into the ball game on the 31 yard line. So, my good sign there seeing John Brewer back oh, in. I'm, I'm glad to see that, John. And and he cut off of that right ankle then to make that cut. So that, that proves that he just, uh, he'll probably have some soreness tomorrow, but he's not feeling it a whole lot right now. You know, that's one of those plays, John, where that you, under, you don't understand why they don't block it. We had four people that was all over the punter, but he managed to get the ball through them. So uh, we were close again, uh, and, and we, I feel like we'll end up blocking another punt for this night's over. So Benton with a ball on the Arkadelphia 31-yard line. Rick Daniels gets the carry. He fakes a reverse and is hit on the 32-yard line. Just barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, Keith Nelson on the stop for Arkadelphia. In fact, he may have lost a yard on that play, depending on where they marked the ball. Also getting up uh, for Arkadelphia was, uh, well, I couldn't see his number. Anyway, second down and uh, still about 10 yards to go as Daniel was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage that time. Ball in the middle of the field. This time it'll be Graves on uh, one of the wings on the far side, on the near side, Brewer. He's in motion. And Collett takes the ball. There's a flag. Collett swings it out. It's uh, complete and out of bounds to John Brewer. They're on the 24-yard line, but we got a flag in the Panther backfield. Burnham, or Bumham, I should say, covering on the play. 
Well, there's two things that could have happened. I will wait on the official to be a, to give you an official ruling, but our back in motion could have either moved before the ball snapped, and it does look like it's going to go against Benton, or it could have been a hold on the by one of our offensive linemen. I would prefer the the uh, first one to be the choice, but it uh, I believe it is holding against Benton, John. That's going to back us up uh, quite a bit more than what we need. Well, five yards, but. No, it's the illegal procedure. I'm sorry, folks. I didn't mean to mislead you. What, what we do, John, on this offense is when we put a man in motion, he cannot move toward the line of scrimmage until the ball snaps. This is a new offense, and it's one of the things that we're going to have to get the wrinkles out of uh, because our boys are not used to motion. It's because in the wishbone, you don't move after, you, after you're set. One setback. Ian Perry in one of the wings. Now back to pass goes Collin on first and 15, second and 15. Collin trouble, Collin running. He's on the 41 and deck. And coming in there with a very hard tackle was Anthony Bailey for Arkadelphia. And he got a big rise out of the crowd there. And he was really fired up after bringing down the Panther quarterback. Well, he uh, he put a lick on Brad, but I'm going to tell you, Brad uh, put a pretty good lick on him, too. It's just that the other man's enthusiasm was a little heavier than Brad. So, uh, uh, we lost a couple of yards on that play there, John. Four yards, matter of fact. Uh, according to our real good statistician down here, Jerry Dandran, doing a great job helping us here tonight to keep up with the ball game. So now it's third down and 19. The ball on the 41-yard line. Again, Daniel at one of the wings. He's in motion from left to right. Back to pass goes Collett. Fires the pass and complete on the 24-yard line to, let me look at that, uh, Brent Black. That's and... Uh, covering on the player making the tackle was Greer for Arkadelphia and it's uh, not going to be enough for the first and 10 but uh, Collett makes up uh, quite a bit uh, quite a few of those yards down to the 24 yard line and we have a timeout here charged to the Benton Panthers with 39 seconds to play in the first half of the ball game and Benton up 14 to nothing you're listening to Benton Panther football we'll be back in half a minute Totally misread your note there, Jerry. Take that away from me. <laughs> 16 yards on that last pass play by Brad Collin. He uh, probably has considerably more yardage than that. I should have thought about that. Well, they uh, had a timeout, 41 yards. Thank you, Jerry, thus far in the ball game. Not, not a bad stat. No, it isn't, John, uh, especially for a team that, like I say, in the past year hadn't been a passing ball team. And they're playing real well over on the sideline for this next 39 seconds. We've we would like to get it in at least field goal position where the Graves can attempt another field goal. Here's Collett pitching out. Rick Daniels on the wide side. Daniels hit on the 25, and he will not make it down on the 22-yard line. Anthony Hicks was there to sling him out of bounds. Uh, John, I'm sorry. That was fourth down. I, uh, I, I didn't realize that. I, I thought it was third down. Panthers were going for it, but uh, did not make it. Came up short, so Arkadelphia has stopped them with 32 seconds left to play. Well, was that out of uh, John Graves' uh, range? Uh, I don't think it was. I, I really and truly feel like it was in his range. I, I coached fight. I, I'm sure just wanted to get seven points on the board or at least get it a little closer in uh, where he felt like John was very comfortable with it. What was it, 47-yard field goal last week, wasn't it? It was. John Graves. Well, right now, Kevin Jones and Arkadelphia wants to go to work in their own 23-yard line as they unload a pass and it's incomplete intended for Chris Collins on the 35-yard line. Ian Perry covering for the Benton Panthers. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go as we're down to 29 seconds until halftime. John, we got uh, Lamont Bolson in at uh, left defensive tackle now. I'm, I'm uh, curious to see on Danny Van Cleve what, uh, what might be his problem. He... Uh, uh, he may have sustained an injury on the last possession. Second down and 10. Jones takes the ball and hands off up the middle. Not much there up to about the 24-yard line, a yard gain on the play. Allen Bearden and uh, also in there Lamont Boson. I tell you, Panthers. give Lamont a little credit. He uh, fired off the line of scrimmage and stood his offensive man straight up and, and got in on the, on the tackle that time. Uh, I tell you, these old boys that play these reserve roles and get to practice all week long, when they get in the ball game, they want to show something. Arkadelphia just going to let the clock run out as we have played our first 24 minutes of football action tonight from Carpenter Haygood Field on the Henderson State University campus as Benton leads Arkadelphia 14 to nothing. We'll be back at uh, 
in, in, in one minute, well, our halftime show coming up is uh, our Benton Panther flashback with uh, Donnie Burks and some other things. So keep it right here. We'll be back. Both clubs coming back out onto the field as the Benton Panthers are getting set to receive as we begin the or getting set to begin the third quarter of the ball game tonight. And the Panthers up by a score of 14 to nothing here over the Arkadelphia Badgers. Arkadelphia, uh, they have uh, not been able to get on track. The Panther uh, defense has done the job thus far in the ball game. Although Kevin Jones has uh, uh, looked like a very capable uh, quarterback. He's six foot two, 180 pounds. He's just a junior and maybe very much like Brad Collins was last year. John, one of his problems is, and, and uh, of course one of our strong points, is that our defensive line's putting a big rush on him and not giving him a whole lot of time to set up and, and uh, look at his, at his uh, receivers. Of course, the Benton Panthers want to do that, and the Arkadelphia Badgers have went in at halftime hoping that they can correct that. And I'd like to commend our defensive line tonight, Matt Bowen, and, Adam Wright and Danny Van Cleve, that they've done a great job <coughs> defensively. Uh, we, have, we have missed on a couple of occasions on, on, on certain assignments, and uh, they've gotten long games out of it. But all in all, we haven't done that bad. But, we <coughs> but a couple of assignments have been missed defensively, and, and, uh, and uh, like I say, that could be a little bit of complacency uh, that normally complacency, though, gets over right after the first quarter. Well, it looks like the Benton Panthers are ready to receive the uh, kick here in this quarter, and the Arkadelphia Badgers will be kicking off for the first time in the ball game. The uh, kicker for Arkadelphia, bear with me here, let me get his name right quick. John Brewer is back deep, incidentally. It's going to be Keith Nelson. Nelson has his uh, ball up in the air, and there is the kick end over end. And Brewer takes it on the three, out of the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and boy, was he hit and falls forward on the 25-yard line and maybe to the 27. We'll see where the referee marked the ball. But John Brewer took a pretty good shot there by uh, Roderick Bragg of Arkadelphia. And so the Benton Panthers, uh, they'll mark it right there on the 25, and that's where they go to work now, first down and 10. John, it was a good shot, but just like last week when <laughs> Brewer got hit hard on the kickoff return, he continued to fall forward for game, for yardage, so uh, Brewer's a pretty tough kid himself. Let's mark the ball game, and the official uh, stats are uh, Benton with 90 <laughs> yards of total offense, and Arkadelphia with only 15 yards in the ball game. Collett keeps down on the 30-yard line and on the tackle Owens for Arkadelphia. It's a gain of four, second down and six coming up for the Benton Panthers. The line to gain is the 36-yard line. I believe it's safe to say that uh, John Brewer probably uh, just got a, gonna have a sore ankle tomorrow. I don't believe he's got any kind of injury uh, that's gonna hold him back at all. Ball of the far side hash marks now. Benton lining up in the wing tee with uh, Brad Collett, of course, at the controls. Brewer in motion from left to right. Back to pass goes Collett. Fires the pass, and it's going to be intercepted, it looks like, on the 41-yard line. Coming up with the ball for the Arkadelphia Badgers was Mark Bumham. And I could not see, of course, we're up here pretty high in the press box, but I, from the angle we had, I didn't know if it was an interception or not, but apparently it was. John, it, it uh, evidently was an interception. <laughs> Once again, though, we've got this problem, and we're going to have to correct it. Uh, if we had completed that pass for a nice gain, we would have been brought back with a penalty simply because the uh, our man, uh, John Brewer, in motion that time, he moved two to three yards toward the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. Of course, they're, they're giving Arkadelphia that option, but they're not going to take it because they want the ball. But that, that's something that uh, on a, you know, later on down in the year on a long pass play or a touchdown play in a crucial situation that could kill us. So Kevin Jones and company go to work with split backs behind him. Ball on the far side hash mark. Jones takes the ball, hands off to Turner as Turner takes it to the 42-yard line and virtually no gain on the play. On the stop for the Panthers was Dean Bird. And so it's second down, still 10 yards to go with the ball on the 42-yard line of Arkadelphia. Uh, Benton, I should say, with 10 minutes and 29 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Benton up 14 to nothing if you've just joined us. Been a real good ball game. Uh, the Panthers uh, and uh, Badgers both a little uh, slow to start with. The Panthers finally got untracked and uh, was able to get in there and score. High formation now for Arkadelphia. 
Ball to the far side, hash marks. Arkadelphia moving from left to right here in this quarter. There's the pitch to, to uh, Bobby Caldwell down to the 40-yard line for a couple of more, but that's, that's it. And so it now will be third down and eight coming up for the Arkadelphia Badgers. 9.56 remaining in the quarter. John, that time the, uh, our linebackers read their guards to see whether they pull or not. And I, I isolated that time on Brian Holter and Russ Browning, and they did a great job then of, I, of uh, reading the guards and coming out and Russ Browning, Browning and, and uh, Holter making the tackle. Ball on the near side, hash marks. Jones and company working against the Benton Panthers. There's the pitch on the 40 down to the 39-yard line goes Donnie Oliver. And Oliver was on the was stopped by Dean Bird and also Adam Wright in there. Fourth down now for Arkadelphia. Still seven yards to go, and the Badgers are going to try to uh, punt the, bat, uh, the Panthers deep into their own territory. Well, uh, we'll probably go for the punt block again, John. It looks like that's exactly what we're lining up for. And we're, we're not doing a shift this week. We're just lining up on the line of scrimmage going after. Oliver back to punt the ball. Brewer all by himself down around the five-yard line. Oliver standing at the 47-yard line. Now we get a whistle and flags in the air. We're going to... Well, that could, it could go either way, John. That could be a, they could have been drawn off by the offense, but, it, but they're going to call it against Benton. Uh, it's going to be a five-yard procedure penalty against Benton, and uh, it really won't give them anything other than uh, they'll, they'll move five yards further down the field uh, to punt the ball. So that will change the complexion a little bit, maybe. No, I take that back. They're still going to have Keith Wiley. They've just changed punters. Wiley standing on the 48-yard line after they walk off the five yards. Fourth down, down three. And bad snap over, uh, well, I think a pack. It's a uh, fake play. Benton does not fool me, but it didn't fool the Benton Panthers as they snapped it to C.J. Turner, and Brian Holter was right there to stop the play. Good call by uh, Arkadelphia, and a uh, really great fake there by Keith Wiley as he just looked like the ball had been snapped right over his head. John, I thought it was the highest snap in, uh, in uh, the Guinness Book of World Records because I kept looking for the ball and couldn't find it no place. But, uh, that boy there might need to go to Hollywood. He did a great job of acting on that. And like I say, it, uh, it fooled us old boys up here, but the young guys, their eyes are still good. Tell you what, we'll have to give him uh, our Academy Award at the end of the ball game there to keep go. that up. Benton takes over now. First down, 10 yards to go. Call it uh, to Daniels. Uh, Daniels takes the ball to the 45. Fumble, and we got it back, I believe, on the 47-yard line. Looks like Michael Grant that time just played heads up and, uh, and stayed with the ball carrier and was able to, able to recover uh, uh, Rick Daniels' fumble. And, uh, John, that's the first time tonight that I've really seen Rick Daniels run with the... Uh, reckless abandon that he has the ability to run with. He, he was wide open on that play and <coughs> took a good shot by one of the Arkansas players and, and lost the ball. 15 yards on the play as Ian Perry now checks in. And the ball goes up the middle to Barry. Barry on the 50-yard line. Barry takes it down to the 49 to the 48-yard line. And a nice game there by Barry. Be second down and five coming up. Owens on the tackle for Arkadelphia. Seven minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Benton leading 14 to nothing. Ball to the far side hash marks. The Benton Panthers have uh, come out of the way and had pretty good success thus far in the wing tee. But opening up in the wishbone tonight. Ball to the far side hash marks. They're on the Badger 48-yard line. Here's Brewer in motion to the near side. Gets the ball, 45. Brewer down to the 44-yard line. It was Anthony Bailey there to bring him down. So Benton now will look at another short yardage situation. Third down coming up for the Panthers and two yards to go. The ball on the Arkadelphia 44. Let's make it third down and uh, we're going to call it a yard to go there on the 44. John, on that play, uh, uh, the uh, motion man came in motion, but I guarantee he had his feet tied to the ground and let the ball was snapped. Rick Daniel back in on the left wing. Brewer in motion on the right side. They hand it again. No play action fake to Brewer. Collett's going to keep it. Collett boots it around the right end down to the 40-yard line and a first and 10 for the Benton Panthers. Robert Reed on the tackle for Arkadelphia. And so Benton picks up a first and 10 on the Arkadelphia 40-yard line. And the Panthers keep the drive going here with six minutes and 34 seconds to go in the ball game. They third quarter of the ball game. 
That's a good call then by the coaches over there. They, uh, they, Brad had the option that time to throw the ball. He had a man wide open, but uh, he pulled it down and kept it and made the first down. Six man front for the Badgers as Brad Collins wants to throw, rolls to the right, fires the pass intended for John Brewer. And John kind of disgusted with himself, couldn't hold on to it on the 33 yard line. Mark, uh, Mark uh, Bumham, they're uh, covering on the play. It'll be second and 10 coming up now for the Panthers. They're on the Arkadelphia 40 yard line. John Brad's got a, he's got two or three options on that play and, and he plays it so well. He, he looks off two other receivers downfield before he throws back to the back out of the backfield, and he does it excellent, but they just missed on that play. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Second and 10, here's Collett. Back to pass once more. He's going for all the marbles. Puts the pass up, and it's going to be incomplete as the pass was intended downfield for John Brewer, and Anthony Hicks covers on the play. There to break it up on the five-yard line. Third down and 10 now for the Benton Panthers. John Brad may not have, uh, he, this may not be his night tonight as far as uh, uh, having a real strong arm and, and all so, that sort of thing. It, you know, there's going to be nights when kids just have a little bit of an off night. That's normally a pass that Brad can throw another 10 or 15 yards, and he just didn't quite have the zip on that ball to get it uh, far enough for the receiver to run under. So third and 10 now for the Panthers as Collin again drops back in the pocket, fires the pass, puts it up good on the 21 yard line. First and 10 as Brent Black is on the receiving end of that. Chris Greer on this tackle for Arkadelphia. The Panthers with a first and 10 and that time Collin just dropped back and threaded the needle. He fired a Joe Ferguson type pass there, John. It, it hit Brent Black right in the face mask and, and uh, he only had two options, catch it or eat it. And, <laughs> and uh, Brent Black caught it. So it's uh, a beautiful pass and a good play by Brent Black. You no, know, Brent's, uh, it went for 19 yards that time, and Brent's limping pretty bad. So that's, that's a good play by Brent. I'm proud for him. Ball to the far side, hash marks as Daniels checks back in. Collett keeps around right in. Collett is hit on the 20 yard line, not much there. The man that did the damage for the Arkadelphia Badgers was Keith Nelson, and so Benton now. <laughs> We'll have second down coming up and still about 10 yards to go. Now I'll take it back. Second down and eight yards to go. They mark the ball on the 20 yard line. Having some problems with the chains over there across the way. John, if they can ever get that option working with the speed that Rick Daniels got and, and they can get outside and then Brad pitch it back to him, uh, they'll gain a lot of yards on that. They're, they're still in the learning procedures on this offense. Graves moves into the wing. He goes in motion from left to right. Here's Collett back to pass again. Fires the pass. It's going to be intercepted on the 10 to the 15 yard line. On the 20, the 25. Anthony Hicks with the ball. He's out of bounds on the 37 yard line. Running him out of bounds was the quarterback Brad Collett. As Brad had a man open briefly uh, 25 yards on the return but I tell you what coming out there making a great play good timing was Anthony Hicks to pick it off Johnny he threw the ball into quite a crowd down there and then you know the quarterback usually makes the tackle <laughs> on those interceptions because that's the only way he can go back over and face the coach and say hey coach I saved a touchdown Ball on the 35-yard line as Kevin Jones and the Arkadelphia Badgers try to get some something going here. Fires a pass complete on the 41-yard line to the flanker Keith Wiley and Ian Perry covering on the play for the Panthers. Gain of about five. It'll be second down coming up and five yards to go for Arkadelphia. Ball Done. spotted on the 41-yard line. Let's make it second and four now. The line to gain is the Badger 45. Ball on the near side, hash marks. This time it will be Wiley split to the near side along with Collins. Scott Thomas on the far side as Jones drops back in the pass, fires it. It's complete on the 40-yard line. Actually may have lost some yards on the play as they come out of the backfield that time to Donnie Oliver and uh, Brian Holter covers. Uh, call it a, a one-yard gain to the play. Third down and three now with the ball spotted on the 42-yard line. Dean Bird played perfect defense that time. He got on the man coming out of the backfield and stayed right with him, John. They made a reception, but they didn't get a whole lot out of it. Dean Bird did a fine job. Arkadelphia now split backs behind Jones. Here's the snap. Jones wants to throw. Fires a pass out there. Completes to Wiley on the 48-yard line for a first and 10 for Arkadelphia. Ian Perry again covering on the play for the Panthers. John, here's what we got to be careful of. They can eat us up on eight, seven, five-yard uh, out patterns downfield, and 
And, uh, of course, what uh, any team wants to do on this is when they get the defender playing up close and out of position, then they can hit you with the deep bomb. So we got to be real careful right here. 3.52 to play, third quarter. Benton with a 50 defense. Five-man front. Here's the snap. Back to pass goes Jones. Puts it out there, intended for Wiley and over his head. And a whole host of Panthers there to introduce themselves, including Rick Daniels and Gary Tidball, all covering in Perry there. And that'll well, bring up second and ten. They, uh, what they were doing then, John, was trying to get the man deep. Uh, you know, they felt like they'd done the, the little out pattern once or twice, and, and they get our men playing up, our, our secondary playing up on their split receivers, so they, they tried a little deep, but the pass just wasn't there to where you could catch it. Had a unsportsmanlike conduct flag thrown against Arkadelphia, and that brings uh, Coach uh, Mosley out on the field. Well, uh, John, all night long, I don't, I don't know exactly who it was against, but all night long I've noticed a couple of the, uh, uh, and you'll have to excuse me, folks, for saying this, but the Arkadelphia players, uh, when, they'd, when they would move away from a bitten player after the play was dead, they'd push them off with their face mask and, and that sort of thing. And they're not going to tolerate that in high school football. I don't, I don't care who it is playing or what they're doing, they're not going to put up with that, the referees are not. It, uh, this is a game that's still played for fun at this stage, and you know everybody wants to win, but uh, they won't be like they do in the pros. They won't let one or two licks get laid. The first one that gets laid, they'll call it, and uh, very often there'll be an ejection uh, if it continues. So it, it, uh, it, you know, it's something that. Well, matter of fact, Danny Van Cleve's note is pointing out down here to Alan Bearden that uh, one of the Arkadelphia men pushed off on his face mask. So, that's, that, they're not going to put up with that. That makes it second and 25 after they walk it off back to the Arkadelphia 33-yard line. As Kevin Jones drops back to the 23 to fire the pass, almost intercepted there for the Benton Panthers, Allen Bearden. And now we get another flag thrown. That's going to be a pass interference on Russ Browning. I'm almost sure of that. He, he hit the Arkadelphia man before the ball got there. And it, it, you know, it's going to happen, and uh, we can't help it, but... Uh, it was pretty, pretty fragrant, and, and uh, the referee was going to call those points. So now that'll be a 15-yard penalty up the other way, which will move the ball to the 48-yard line, and that'll be an automatic first down. First down, 10 yards to go from the 48-yard line of Arkadelphia, so they're just about back where they were. Three minutes and 40 seconds to play in the quarter. It'll be Wiley, flanked to the wide side. To the near side is Scott Thomas. Donnie Oliver is uh, one of the backs along with Cedric Turner. And back to pass again goes Kevin Jones. Puts one out there for Thomas and way over his head out of bounds. Uh, not a, a, a catchable pass at all. And Allen, is that Ian Perry covering on the play? That's Ian Perry, John, and uh, did a great job. And he just, he was determined not to let the offensive receiver run past him. And, and uh, he kept himself uh, uh, between the goal line and, and the uh, ball. So. He, he defended that play very well, even though it was thrown out of bounds. I think it would have been a hard catch for the uh, receiver to make if the ball was there. Second down and 10 now from the Arkadelphia 48-yard line as the Badgers break out of the huddle. It'll be Wiley split to the near side. This time they will uh, move Oliver over in a slot to the left. Back to pass goes the quarterback. Dick back on the 39-yard line, and they crash from the end, and, well, I didn't see his number. On the stop that time for the Benton Panthers. John, that's Matt Bowen, the right defensive tackle, and uh, we've talked about him earlier in the first half on his quickness. He just he just beat his uh, man on the line of scrimmage and came in before the quarterback even knew it and made the tackle. So, uh, you know, Matt Bowen, not big in size, but he's big and hard and, and uh, got tremendous quickness and, and great strength. He's a good-looking physical, slick-looking kid. So he's out there playing good football tonight. Eight-yard loss on the play. Jeffrey Smith comes in now, split to the near side. There's the draw play with Oliver up across the 40 to the 42, the 43-yard line, and that's all for uh, Donnie Oliver and Alan Bearden there to make the stop for the Panthers. Fourth down now and 14 yards to go for Arkadelphia as the Panthers have stopped the Badger threat. John, I believe they might have fired our defense up just a little bit with that penalty. That uh, We come out there and did some hitting on that uh, particular series and, and uh, just did a great job, and we're going to go for a block again right here. Keith Wiley down on the 29-yard line for Arkadelphia, facing all those Benton Panthers that are going to be coming at him. And 
There's the punt. Nice one. Brewer all alone. Fields it on the 15-yard line. Comes out to the 20 to the 25. Going to try to outrun some players. 30, 35, 40-yard line. And John Brewer just kicked it into overdrive. And uh, went on around some of those Arkadelphia Badgers. And finally, Wiley caught up with him for Arkadelphia to run him out of bounds. But not a bad uh, uh, run back there for Brewer, considering he had no blockers. John, actually, uh, you know, they didn't go for the block. They, uh, what they did is they had each one of the guys line up on somebody, head up on the line of scrimmage and, and uh, contain block and try to get a wall set up for Brewer to get behind. And uh, really wasn't a bad call by the uh, Benton coaches because everybody was expecting them to go in for the block. So Benton has the ball on their own 39-yard line. Rick Daniels in motion. They give it, though, up the middle to Judd Byte across the 40 to the 42, and that's all. Barksdale and Frederick Owens for Arkadelphia with 155 now to play in the third quarter. Betting up 14 to nothing if you've joined us. We're at Arkadelphia tonight on the Henderson State campus, Carpenter Haygood Stadium. Real pretty uh, facility here, kind of set in a uh, in a ravine. Is this why they call it the Battle of the Ravine? I think. Well, my way, it's a it's a bowl type stadium and a very very beautiful stadium. Ball clubs, uh, Arkadelphia, uh, down here in Arkadelphia, Washington Baptist, uh, Henderson State University. Donnie Burks there, an OBU graduate. There's the give up the middle down to the 45 yard line. And not much there. Uh, carrying the ball again was Bite, and uh, it was Hart on the stop for the Badgers. Third down now and five yards to go for the Benton Panthers. John, I'll be curious to see what they do here. I, uh, Brad Collins not had a great night passing, but let's look and see what he does on this play. He may, he may come out and connect with the bomb this time. Dean Bird now in at one of the backs. He's in motion. Collett, though, wants to throw. Rolls right now. He's going to try to run it. He's on the 45, the 50-yard line, and Brad Collins should pick up the first and 10 here. And a nice bit of running there by Brad. Frederick Owens on the tackle for Arkadelphia, and, and Collett wanted to throw. Saw his receivers covered, and that time he just was pointing to Dean Bird, telling him where he wanted to have the block thrown, and just went on for the first down. He was looking up for uh, Rick Daniel that time on the on the little straight <laughs> down the sideline pass, just I'll throw it up and you catch it and run under it type play, and uh, he was well covered that time, and Brad very wisely took the ball on for the first down. So the ball on the Arkadelphia side of the 50-yard line, far side hash marks. Brewer now gets the call, the 50, Brewer the 45, John Brewer down to the 44-yard line, and then covered by Blue. Give credit to about four or five Arkadelphia Badgers, and uh, just uh, give Give credit to about the middle of that whole line. There's a gain of six on the play, second and four coming up. The line to gain for the Badgers is the, uh, for the Panthers is the 39 at Arkadelphia. Ball still on the far side, hash marks, and the clock is going to run out here in the third quarter, Mike, without another snap as Benton leads after three stanzas, 14 to nothing. You're listening to Benton Panther football. Well, we've got 12 minutes of football action here from Arkadelphia this evening. Let's uh, pause right quick, five seconds for station <coughs> identification. Second down for the Benton Panthers, and uh, we'll call it four yards to go down on the 44 of Arkadelphia as Brad Collin and company up to the line of scrimmage. Brewer. One of the backs now along with Ian Perry. They give it to John Brewer, the 45. Brewer, the 40. Brewer down to the 39-yard line. And the Panthers pick up another first and 10. It is uh, Cleveland, Gordon Cleveland on the tackle for Arkadelphia. John, if he's got an ankle bothering him, he sure isn't showing it. Right? He made two or three little dipsy-doodle steps there and, and uh, broke into the clear off left tackle and just a, a nifty piece of running and some real good blocking by the... Uh, Offensive line for Benton over on the right, or excuse me, the left side, and also the right offensive guard pulling that time to open a hole up for him. We've got an official timeout out on the field right now. Ball on the 39-yard line, and the 
referees will take a measurement here. And they bring the chains out and they stretch them out and it looks like this is going to be just, I mean, just maybe, what, a half inch short. And I bet you folks are wondering how I can see that good. But believe me, it's about a half inch. Well, it's almost too well. They're going to give it to him, John. Are they? Yeah. Well, after Brad Collett got down there, maybe breathed on the ball, it moved it up just enough to give the Panthers the first and ten. Well, he might have told that official that he'd show him a good fishing spot or something, you know. <laughs> he said, come on, ref, it's close enough. Yeah. We're going to get it anyway. That's right. So the Panthers pick up a first and ten, the ball in the middle of the field, and on the Arkadelphia 39-yard line with 11.48 to go and betting up by 14. Now we've got the referee holding up action here for a minute for some reason. Now he says, let's play ball. As Collett comes up to the line of scrimmage, John Graves on the right wing. And he goes in motion to the far side. Here is the give and taking the ball. I could not tell. I think that was That's John Bird Council. running the ball, or John Council, pardon me. And uh, on the stop was uh, Frederick Owens. So John Council getting his hands on the ball for the first time in the ball game as he's down to about the 37 and a half yard line where it's a gain of two, second and eight coming up for the betting fans. Greg Daniel now checks back in along with uh, Graves on the right wing, Daniel on the left. Here comes Daniel in motion to the near side. Collett down the line, fakes the pitch on the 40, takes it to the 35, to the 31-yard line. And on the tackle for the Badgers was Mickey Barksdale. Well, Brad got him within a couple of yards of the first and 10. Got a third down coming up here, another short yardage situation. That's that option play, John. And, uh, they're going to keep on until they connect on that. They just didn't quite have enough room that time to, to make the pitch out here and for Rick to turn the corner. but. Uh, before the year is over, they're going to surely connect on that and gain a lot of yards out of it. And this offense is going to, it's obvious Coach Fyatt's wanting to get this offense into readiness. Third and a long three as they take the ball, hand off to Tommy Burton. He crashes down to the 25, fumbles the ball, but the Panthers get it back on the 21-yard line. Tommy Burton just would not go down, kept his feet churning, and uh, the ball popped loose, but coming up there very alertly with Steve Wood to fall on it, Benton gets a first and 10 and a couple of extra yards on the play. Well, when you have a, a, a slashing, turning type runner like that, uh, what he's got to do is grab that ball and, and just embrace it like you do a young child. And, and uh, it, 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 it's going to happen, and especially with a, uh, a young ball carrier. He's getting hit a little harder this year than what he was last year, so he's going to have to get used to hanging on to that pig skin. So now Dean Bird goes up on the right wing along with Rick Daniel on the far side. They give it straight ahead to fight. He's churning on the 20 down to the 15 yard line inside the 15 actually to about the 14. And uh, Van Newburn on the stop for Arkadelphia. Hey, John, on Judd Fight and, and Terry Barry are both doing a great job to pull back position. And it's wonderful that they've got two players that uh, complement one another the way they do to give them a rest because uh, that fullback position is very, very important in this offense, as well as the wishbone offense. Now Brewer checks back in. Now Bird out. Daniels on the left wing, Brewer the right. Light the fullback. Ball down to the 14-yard line of Arkadelphia. John Brewer gets the call, the 10, the 5, touchdown, as John Brewer just turns it on right up the middle of the field. A big hole opened up with the Benton Panther line as Brewer just straight up the middle for a touchdown as the Benton Panthers now lead it 20 to nothing over the Arkadelphia Badgers. And give credit to that Panther line that time for opening up a good hole and giving John Brewer time. Oh, they did a great job. That, that time, John, they made the offense look like the, uh, and, and of course, where we learned this offense or where we saw this offense last year was against Springdale. And, and that time, Benton just, uh, they made it look like a uh, Springdale perfected type offense. We got John Graves in uh, attempting the PAT again. and. Uh, We'll hold up here and see if John's good on it. There's the kick. It's on the way. It's on the board. Timeout on the field now. The Panthers lead by 21. And you're listening to Benton Panther Football.
Well, the Benton Panthers preparing to kick off one more time to the Arkadelphia Badgers. We have 9.20 to go in the ball game, and Benton up by 21 nothing is coming in to kick off now for the Panthers. It's going to be John Gray. Looks like they're going to try him on his kickoff and just see how deep he can get the ball. He's got a pretty good leg on him. Let's see what happens now. Back deep for Arkadelphia, the duo of uh, Bobby Campbell and Donnie Oliver. Oliver to the far side, Campbell to the near side. Panthers are set, and here comes John Gray booting for the first time in the ball game. Kicks it to Oliver, who let the ball get away from him. Inside the 10, picks it up, trying to reverse field to the 10-yard line, coming to the near side of the 15 to the 20. 25, 30, 35, 40-yard line, 45 midfield, doing some good work and field running, and finally out of bounds on the 39-yard line of the Benton Panthers. John, that's, uh, Rick, Rick Angel caught up with him, brought him down. Uh, Mike or Donnie Oliver might have had six points for Arkadelphia. Well, Rick Daniel did the same thing last week, John. Uh, he's got tremendous speed and great agility, and uh, really, as I said earlier, that's something that Benton has felt like they needed to work on this week. And uh, we've got a flag down on the field. I'm not real sure just exactly what we've got, but it could go against Arkadelphia. It may be a cliff, but. <clears throat> Rick Daniels fought off the block that time and, and did a great job of catching uh, the receiver and, and to get him run out of bounds like that. But it, uh, you know, that's definitely something that we've got to work on and we've got to do it quickly because uh, these 4A South teams that we're going to be coming up against, John, they got plenty of speed and plenty of power and they'll break one on you. It's going to be a face mask penalty. Looks like it may be a, well, a cliff and a face mask against Benton. That's 64 yards on that uh, return, and looks like some more going to be added on. Yeah, that, uh, well, uh, evidently we, uh, we, uh, Rick may have grabbed him by the face mask. I'm not real sure. If he did, it was an unint unintentional grab. He, he didn't intentionally grab him by the mask to bring him down with no money. Well, let's see what they're going to do. Still have not had any indication. The referee is talking things over down on the 39-yard line. Betting up 21 to nothing, 9.08 to play. A ball on the 39-yard line. Ryan Holt is pleading his case right now with the uh, side judge. He's going off the field to explain it over to the Benton coaches. And, uh, uh, well, it's a face mask and a clip, and they're going to mark off 15 yards against Benton. Well, Holter, as best he could, pleaded their case, but nothing doing as the referee marks off a 15-yarder down to the 24-yard line, and face mask is the call, first and 10 for Arkadelphia, and that gives the Badgers some new life now and an opportunity against the Benton Panthers to put some points on the board for the first time in the ball game. Whitley, or Wiley, is flipped to the wide side. One setback in the backfield. Behind quarterback Kevin Jones, he comes up to the line, and Stairs at the five down lineman. Those white jerseys that are kind of dirty down there tonight. The Benton Panthers and Jones backpedals, looks, going to be caught, going to be dropped back on the 33 yard line. As coming in there for the Benton Panthers was Danny Van Cleve. And he saw nothing but number 14 all the way. And he nailed him for a loss on the play of about uh, 10 yards on the play. Second down coming up at about 20. They'll make it about an eight yard loss, nine yard loss. Second down and 19 coming up. John, our interior defensive line has done a fantastic job tonight. And really, this young quarterback looks like if he gets any time, he's got a good arm on him. Wiley to the wide side, Thomas to the near side. Here is Jones standing on the line, fires a pass, incomplete, intended in and out of the hands, actually out of the backfield of Donnie Oliver. They're on the 23-yard line. On the, or covering on the play, Brian Holter for the Panthers. Third down, 19 now, 8.29 to go. In this ball game, game number two for the Benton Panthers, 1-0 on the year, ranked sixth in the state coming into tonight's ball game. It'll be Wiley to the wide side. He's accompanied by Chris Collins. And Jones wants to throw, fires the pass complete on the 15, the 10 down to the eight yard line goes Chris Collins, first down and goal to go as Ian Perry brings him down and saves a possible touchdown for the Benton Panthers. 
Well, it, it's really obvious, John, that the Arkadessian quarterback's got a good arm and a, and a good sight for the ball. He just has to have the time to throw it. And uh, that time he made a beautiful pass across the middle to his uh, end. And, and uh, you know, we just we defended okay, but he, uh, he caught the ball and had a 25-yard gain out of it. Down to the seven-yard line, they mark it. And here we go again. It'll be Wiley and Collins flank them on the near side. Back to pass Jones. Put the pass out incomplete off the fingertips of uh, his receiver, Kevin Wiley. And uh, on the uh, cover for the play, John Brewer. And so we have now second down and goal from the seven-yard line. Eight minutes to play in the ball game, betting up 21 to nothing. John, they got the pass off. Matt Bowen leveled him after uh, just, I mean, the instant that he threw the ball. And it, it did break his concentration off just a little bit. But there again, our defensive line still did a good job. It just wasn't quite there in time. Arkadelphia with uh, Caldwell in a slot right. Turner takes the ball, fakes up the middle. He's going to be trapped for a loss back on the 15-yard line. Coming through there for the Panthers was Brian Holter. I'm sorry, Dean Bird coming through there for the Benton Panthers, and now that'll put the ball back out on the 12-yard line, third down and goal from the 12. John, that's what you call staying at home for a defensive end. He, uh, uh, Dean Bird, he did not take the fake going away from the ball. He uh, he stayed right at home. He, he did containment and came across the line of scrimmage. And of course, the quarterback uh, is used to the offside defensive end taking the fake the other way and, and having a, a chance to roll out that, and bootleg, but Dean Bird did a fantastic job defensively, and he'll be graded high for that play. Arkadelphia take a timeout with 7.43 to go in the ball game, bitten up 21 to nothing. You're listening to Benton Panther Football. <clears throat> Back at Carpenter Haygood Stadium, where it's been all Panther tonight uh, thus far, uh, the Pan Panthers did not score. In fact, neither team scored in the uh, first quarter. 9:03 to go in the second quarter. The Panthers scored in a one-yard run by Judd Fight as uh, they went uh, 53 yards in 11 plays to take the lead, seven to nothing. Graves' extra point attempt was good, and then uh, Barry blocked the uh, ball on the next uh, Panthers score. Kyle had a two-yard run for a TD. The extra point was uh, good by Graves. They led 14 to nothing at intermission and here is Jones for Arkadelphia backpedaling fires the pass it's going to be incomplete down on the 10 yard line and there's a flag on the play the pass was intended for Keith Wiley on that play Panthers last score was a 10 play 61 yard drive John Brewer 14 yard uh, touchdown run and Graves again good on the extra point as the Panthers lead it 21 to nothing will be a holding play against Arkadelphia a holding penalty I'm sorry against Arkadelphia and going to back him up <coughs> And, uh, and really, this could go a couple of ways. That Arkadelphia is trying to get their uh, pass routes down, and they're down close right now on the 15-yard line. And if they back them up, it's going to give their uh, their offensive receivers a little more room to run their routes and their patterns. So, uh, you know, this may not be a real, real bad penalty. I, I don't know. Just I doubt seriously that Arkadelphia would be interested in a field goal anyway. They want to go for a an all-out touchdown. So. Really and truly, it may just give their receivers a little more room to run their routes. And, uh, of course, <clears throat> the quarterback's going to be sitting in the huddle saying, give me a little time to throw the ball, too. Uh, so, really, it's not a bad, bad penalty at this point in time. The Badgers will send uh, Thomas out to the wide side. To the near side is Keith Wiley. Kevin Jones, the quarterback, one set back behind him, wants to throw, has time, puts the ball up, it's incomplete off the fingertips of Chris Collins on the 15-yard line. And covering on the play for the Panthers was Brian Poulter. And the Jones laid it right in there like he, like he should, and uh, I don't know, Collins just didn't grab a hold of it. Oh, it was a soft touch pass, and Brian Holter had the coverage that time on the, uh, on the man out of the backfield coming across the middle, and uh, a, a good touch on the ball. Uh, this young man... Uh, Jones for Arkadelphia is going to be a good quarterback. I believe he's a junior this year, and, and uh, he really doesn't have anything to do but look forward to what he's going to do in the future. 
Uh, that ball had a good touch on it. He got good blocking in the line of scrimmage. Matter of fact, John, it looked to me like he could tuck the ball under that time and got some pretty good yardage out of running the ball. So, uh, and those are things that he'll pick up. It, it's things that Brad Collett didn't do last year that he's doing this year. So that one year's difference out there in those trenches does make a lot of difference. Well, we have a timeout call by Arkadelphia with 7.35 to go. And once again, let's pause for these words. Oh, y'all gonna stop any word going back. Y'all gonna stop any word yeah, going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, 7.35 to go as Kevin Jones, who's 6 out of 16 for 42 yards thus far on the evening up to the line of scrimmage, and one of the Panthers comes across and makes contact. Adam Wright came across a little bit anxiously there for the Benton Panthers. He'll draw a five-yard penalty. And that'll, well, it was fourth and 27. That'll make it fourth down and 22. Well, that uh, fourth down and 22 is just about like fourth down and 100. Yeah. Uh, they're going to, they're, you know, they're going to come out, John, and throw the ball at us. There's no doubt about that. We're just going to have to be ready to, uh, to defend against it because right down here we don't need to give up an easy touchdown and statistically uh, it'd be good to go away with a shutout tonight and keep our, our scoring against our defense down low. Jones up to the line of scrimmage, fourth down. Arkadelphia wants to go for all of it, puts it up in the end zone and it's broken up nicely by Gary Titball as the pass intended in the end zone for Keith Wiley and the Benton Panthers will take over on downs with seven and a half minutes to go in the game. That was just good defense, him, on our secondary part. And the ball was thrown up just a little bit too uh, too long to lay in the air. It, it's a pass, really, that should have been thrown more on the line rather than, uh, than up in the air and let, it, and let it fall like it did. Um, John looks like we're getting a lot of white helmets in there. I noticed Michael Biggs in, 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 the, in the offensive line. And, uh, of course, we got Paige Eccles in at quarterback and, and uh, Tommy Burton at halfback. So, uh, we do have some uh, fresh, uh, we got Brian Sims in at center also right now. Okay, and the ball is up the middle as we have a brand new quarterback in here, Paige Eccles for the Benton Panthers, and uh, not much uh, up the middle there for uh, the ball carrier. We got just a bunch of sophomores, as uh, Mike was saying, so I'm gonna have to get my other uh, sheet out here and take a look at it here. Second down and nine coming up here, the ball up to the 23 yard line. Seven minutes and seven seconds left to play. It's Eccles in to commandeer the Benton Panther attack now. Let's see who is in there with him, Council, and uh, looks like Terry Berry at fullback and Tommy Burton at halfback. All right, thank you, sir. And here's Eccles taking the ball. Hands off up the middle to Berry, and uh, not much there for the Benton Panther uh, fullback. On the tackle was uh, Nelson of Arkadelphia, so a gain of another, well, actually no gain on the play. Third down coming up and nine yards to go. John, I, I tell you, I like old Terry Berry. He's a good kid, and he, uh, he deserves every bit of credit that he gets. And that time they're trying to tackle the football, but they're going to have a tough time getting out of his hands. That young man's been pressing right around 400 pounds, so he's pretty strong, and, he, he, and he'll hold on to the football. Panthers running out of the wishbone now as the ball goes uh, off to Burton across the 25, Burton up to the 27 yard line and doing some hard running there but had three Arkadelphia Badgers hanging on him, Cleveland and Gordon on the initial tackle. And so Benton now will have to punt the ball with fourth down and four yards to go coming up. So Arkadelphia will get their hands on the ball one more time. There's plenty of time in the ball game, 554, but Arkadelphia is uh, staring at a uh, short end of a 21-0 score. They had a good opportunity and were not able to capitalize on it a while ago. Holter stepping back to the 14-yard line to get the punt away. And the deep man for Arkadelphia is Bobby Campbell. And here's Holter's punt. Gets it off in front of a block. Campbell lets it hit on the 35-yard line and now will not field it. It'll roll dead on the 31-yard line, and that's where the Badgers take over first down and 10 yards to go. Now the cover for the Benton Panthers was uh, Brian, uh, let's see, Michael Grant. 
Don, there's somebody I'd like to mention right now uh, while we've got just a little bit of time, and, and uh, they deserve a bunch of credit, and they don't ever get any, and that's the manager for the Benton Panther football team. This year they've got Amber White, Kena DeYoung, Amy St. John, Heather O'Brien, and uh, Mandy Newman, and they do an absolute fantastic job out there. They work themselves to death during practice and also during games. Uh, they keep water bottles run to all the players, and they do a great job, and, and the players are proud of them and proud to have them. Mark Delphia has called time out here with uh, 5.15 to go in the game, and Benton leading 21 to nothing. You're listening to Benton Panther football. A way to score on the Benton Panthers. And uh, they have not been able to uh, come up with that diagnosis tonight. Jones, the quarterback, ball on the far side, hash marks, wants to throw, rolls to his right under pressure, dumps it off to Campbell. He can't hang on to it on the 25 yard line. Caldwell, I should say. Could not hang on to it. He's just trying to set up a little screen there, and the Panthers were, were uh, bearing down hard that time. Yeah, that's a good call for Arkadelphia. They had a wide open field out in front of their receiver, and uh, he just dropped the ball. It, it's one of those things that uh, the guys uh, dream about catching it and running it with, but that's also the nightmare they have, too, and that's dropping it when you got a wide open field in front of you. Uh, that, was, that was a good play by Arkadelphia. There's no doubt they're going to continue to pass it to death the rest of the ball game. Badgers with the ball on the 32-yard line, second down and 10, moving from right to left here in the fourth quarter. There's the pass in traffic and caught and fumbled, and the ball should be the Benton Panthers. If he held it long enough there on the 35-yard line, the pass was, uh, yeah, that's what it, the call will be. Benton intercepts on the 35-yard line. John Brian Holger and, uh, and uh, Russ Browning did a great job that time of, of playing the linebacker position right in the middle. That, really was not a, uh, a well thought out play by the Arkadelphia quarterback because he had other receivers he could go to but uh, Holter and Russ Browning did a great job that time and it's give the ball back to Benton and uh, uh, we will continue just to try to run the clock out here and, and go away with a 21 to nothing victory. Paige Eccles on the 35 yard line of Arkadelphia takes the ball down the line Eccles in trouble Eccles hit on the 40 driven back to the 43 yard line. On the stop was Keith Jones for Arkadelphia, so that was a substantial loss there. As Eccles is, uh, he's uh, going to pay some dues here tonight too. It looks like so he's well, uh, getting some experience. Those uh, those dues are they almost have to be paid, John, because you can't expect a sophomore of any position on the football field to come in, and especially in this class football, and uh, and, and just take control of a ball game. It's just not going to happen. Second and 15 now, back to the 40-yard line, and here's the give. Burton, Burton stood up, and no gain on the play. Matt, uh, or Kevin uh, Wiley and Gordon of uh, Arkadelphia on the tackle, still third and 15, ball on the 40-yard line. You know, John, this is the second week, though, that our, uh, our reserve second team, you might call them, or whatever you want to refer to them as, has got to come in and get some playing time, so... Yeah, and down the road, that could become very important because you don't know where injuries are going to take place at. Blake Jumper flanks to the wide side of the field. Benton running out of the wishbone. Ball in the middle of the field. Eccles fakes to Burton. Rolls to the near side. Gets away from one man. Can't get away from the other one, though, as he's snowballed in the 43-yard line. And on the tackle, Mickey Barksdale of Arkadelphia. That would uh, bring up fourth down now for the Benton Panthers and an opportunity to uh, punt the ball and put the Badgers in the hole here with three minutes and 18 seconds and counting to be played here in the ball game. John, we're going to be home next week. We don't have to do any traveling in C.W. Lewis Stadium against the Sheridan Yellow Jackets and uh, Sheridan, I, we don't know what they've done tonight, but they uh, had an excellent ball game last week against Bryant and I watched the film this week on Sheridan and, and boy, they've got a football team. We, it uh, possibly will be, uh, if this ball game turns out the way it is, It'll be the best team we've gone up against thus far this year. All of them on the 42-yard line. There's flags uh, all over the place. Delay of the ball game is going to be the call. So the Benton Panthers will get a five-yard penalty, and they'll kick it. They'll kick it. Deep man for Arkadelphia will be Bobby Campbell. We're down to 248 to play in the game. We haven't had the penalties in this ball game tonight, John. We had last week, so that's something that that Benton's worked on and uh, got their concentration level a little better on also. Well, the Benton Panthers, uh, six penalties for 50 yards thus far in the ball game. Here is the punt by David Delamar, and it hits kind of a high thing, but doesn't get much uh, carry. It hits on the 30-yard line, and 
Art Delvia will take over at that point with 2.37 to go in the game. And uh, that means Kevin Jones and company will come back out of the field and fire it up again for the Art Delvia Badgers. Ball will be spotted on the 29-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. 2.37, as I said, to go. The Benton Panthers leading 21 to nothing. Trying to wrap up their second win in a row. And unless uh, something unusual happens, we'll do just that. Getting ready to uh, come home for the home opener against the uh, Sheridan Yellow Jackets. Ball on the 29-yard line as Jones and company break the huddle up the line of scrimmage. Panthers with a five-man front. Here's the snap. Jones backpedaling, puts the pass up, and it's going to be caught down on the 42-yard line and out of bounds. The receiver, Scott Thomas, I believe. Yeah, Scott Thomas as he carries out of bounds. John Council covering on the play and making the tackle for the Panthers. Don, we've got some uh, reserve people also in defensively right now, and, and uh, of course, Arkadelphia is going to continue to do what they've been doing, and uh, I noticed one thing that's going to have to be attended to this week is Brent Black. He's limping real heavy on that right leg, and I'm curious to find out just how bad his injury is. Van Newborn is flicked to the near side. Wiley to the far side. Back to pass goes Jones. Dumps it off to uh, Campbell on the 40 to 45. Midfield. Campbell has the first and 10 on the Benton Panther 47-yard line. John, that's that screen pass, and they said set it up perfectly, and... Uh, and, uh, of course, they ran it out to the right side away from the press box that time and just did a great job of executing the screen. And, uh, of course, uh, like to say, it is against some of our reserve players, but still, yeah, this yardage picked up. And, uh, really, I'd like to see us keep them off the scoreboard and have a shutout here tonight. Badgers with the ball on the Panther 47-yard line. As Kevin Jones takes a look at the five-down lineman, takes the ball back to pass. Looks, wants to throw, puts it out there. Thomas cuts it, catches it on the 35 to 30, the 25 to 20. He's going to score the 10 to 5. Touchdown, Arkadelphia. Well, that was an absolute great cut back then, John. He was coming down the sideline. He, he uh, Gary Pitball had him cut off, but... Uh, the receiver, Scott Thomas, just made a cut back then that, that left uh, two or three of our players with their shoes laying there in the field. And, uh, you know, real pretty pass, a pretty catch, and a pretty run. It, it's going to ruin a shutout, but uh, I, I still don't think they've got time to come back and do any more damage to it. Right now, 47 yards on the play for the touchdown as uh, Ted Richard comes in to attempt the extra point for the Badgers. The kick's on the tee, the kick is up, the kick is good. And Art Delphia scores with one minute, 22 seconds to play. You're listening to Benton Panther Football. will try it one more time. The kick's on the tee. The kick is long enough. The kick is good. <laughs> Dan Richard uh, puts it over the uprights, and Arkadelphia now 21-7 behind the veteran Panthers. I did not see the flag that time, Mike. Don had, had a man that was late coming into the play, and, and uh, they're, once they're set, Don, they can't move uh, until the ball is snapped, and, and they had a player that moved to get back into another position, so they got them for procedures, what they did, and, and uh, negated the first kick, but the second kick, uh, there again, it wasn't a beautiful kick, but it went through and, and scored points uh, anyway. I, uh, what would be good now is to see Benton come back unless we turn one all the way back and let this thing go right down to the wire. But Arkadelphia probably is going to try an onside kick here. At least you think they would. Well, there is a good possibility they'll do that. I, uh, if I were the coach, I believe I'd try it whether, whether I had it. To, well, the way they're lining up, it's obvious that they're going to. Keith Nelson will be kicking for the Arkadelphia Badgers. 122 to go in the game. 21-7 Benton. And here we go. Arkadelphia will try the onside kick, and it carries long enough down to the 45, but very alertly, the Benton Panthers' uh, Justin Jones downs it. And so the Panthers will uh, take over good field position with 1.20 to go and the ball on their own 47-yard line. 
Well, you can pretty well say that this one's over and the, uh, that Benton's got another another win in their column with a two and hole start this year. And, uh, of course, we ended up being the 4A South champs last year and didn't start out this good. And really, I don't believe our team was this far advanced offensively uh, even into the uh, latter part of the season, uh, John, last year. So offensively, we've done real well and we're real strong. Benton in the wishbone, Darren Adams flips to the wide side of the field. Paige Eccles, the quarterback, takes the ball and hands off Council, and not much there. John tackled in the 47-yard line. There's some flags thrown. We're down to 56 seconds to play. Roderick Bragg on the tackle for Arkadelphia. The penalty is motion against Benton. So it'll be a five-yard walk-off. A couple of new faces coming in. Blake Jumper back into the lineup for the Benton Panthers. Also stepping in is... Uh, was that Brian Holter? Uh, it was yeah. John Freeman. Uh, John Freeman. John. I tell you, old John Freeman, every time in practice they have somebody to volunteer for something, John jumps in there and does it. He uh, He's a good kid, and he wants, to, he wants to participate on this football team. And you always like to see somebody like him that maybe they're not a starter, but by golly, when they get in there, their heart's in it, and they do the best they can do. Arkadelphia refuses the penalty, so with 38 seconds and counting, Paige Eccles wants to throw. He's going to keep it. He's hit from behind and tackled on the 45-yard line. Coming in there to blindside him was Mickey Barksdale. That'll be third down and a loss of a couple. Third and 12 coming up now for the Panthers. Ball on the 45-yard line. We're down to 22 ticks left on the clock. And the Panthers have successfully uh, come to Arkadelphia and picked up their second win on the year. It'll be Adams to the wide side, bit lining up on the wishbone. Ball on the near side, hash marks. Eccles takes the ball, play action fake, wants to throw. Scrambling a little bit and tackled back on the 44-yard line as the clock runs out and the Benton Panthers win the ball game 21-7 over the Arkadelphia Badgers. We're going to pause for one minute. We'll be back to wrap this one up from Carpenter Haygood Stadium in uh, Arkadelphia. Once again, the final score, Benton 21, Arkadelphia 7. We'll be back in one minute. Very good. 